He joins us now with more on the decision. And Bill, what is Judge James saying about this ruling tonight? Well, we're certainly hoping to hear from her eventually, but so far her attorney, Mayor Morgan Roth, has not commented on the state Supreme Court decision that uh, he told me he was going to read this afternoon, this document here. But for the judge, certainly a stunning blow, even if she thought it might not happen, as she had argued that mistakes were made when she was in charge of her court, but that what she did was not serious enough that she should be pulled off the bench. James spent 23 years as chief judge of Inkster's 22nd District Court, her re-elections over the years considered automatic. Then Seven Action News investigators called into question a host of the judge's decisions and actions. Now, after months of audits, investigations by the JTC and the state court administrator, the Supreme Court agrees with the JTC's recommendations. Quoting from their opinion now, the cumulative effect of the respondent's misconduct, coupled with its duration, nature, and pervasiveness, convinces this court that Judge Sylvia James is unfit for judicial office. Justice Markman agreed with the majority of the court, but also felt that more punishment should be required. In my judgment, he says, this responsibility to protect the integrity of our justice system requires in this case that Judge James also be conditionally suspended for a period of six years or one full term of the court on which she currently presides. That won't happen, though. Judge James will get the chance to go for re-election. Now, Judge James had been on paid suspension. Now that she's been removed, the money will likely stop. But she will be allowed to continue on the path that she's been on for several months, trying to convince the voters of Inkster that she should return to the bench, that despite her removal from the bench today. Wow, can Judge James appeal the Supreme Court's decision? State Supreme Court apparently says in this document they won't be hearing any appeals from her, <laughs> but she has, in fact, gone to federal court as this process continued. We don't know where that is. Mayor Morgan Roth, we had hoped, would tell us this afternoon, but that didn't happen.